All right. So I've been praying on this message for a long, 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 long time because I'm going to make it pretty expensive. Now, many of you have been trying to make it back home. You just got lost, right? Or did you? So, I called for a fast. Do you mind if I take that? Appreciate you. Why oh, do you want it back? Enjoy. Enjoy it. It's good. Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. All right, now. It's important that you understand one thing. Jesus is the God of the Old Testament and the New Testament. And one thing I was reteaching myself, because I'm on a whole nother level now, being exalted. So I'm taking those baby steps to remind myself and also so that you can see, you have video proof who I am, how I think, and scripture said, you will see me as I really am. A lot of your teachings contributed to your confusion. But this is because no man will ever come to the Father except through me. And many people got off course because they did not want Jesus. Basically, took your ring off, put it in a drawer. The purpose of this message is not to make you feel bad. I called for a fast for you to return to your first love. And then I gave you the answer for the fast because you will be my prophets to the nations. And you will serve in your calling. That is the only way you will be happy. So if you took the baby steps with me, with my spirit, then you arrived at a certain destination. Because I also said, I am going to show people who the real followers of Jesus are. And it occurred to me because me and the spirit were talking the Holy Spirit, that is always happening, and we already decided the wound is incurable, right? And I took the baby steps directed by the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit had me put this on. And I walked into a church because I was looking for a church because I wanted to basically align myself with the church so that I had confirmation from not just the Holy Spirit. I wanted the Holy Spirit to confirm it through people that had the Holy Spirit. And the worship leader led by the Spirit, asks everybody to kneel. And I'm standing there, and my usual, like, I wanted to kneel, and the Spirit was like, no, you stand there, Scripture is fulfilled. So, <clears throat> the biggest thing I was trying to convey to people is 
the problem I have with the church, any church, is somehow you develop an artificial peace. You see what you want to see, but it does not lead you home. It does not lead you to the things you want. So I basically looked at what everybody was talking about. And I was discussing it with the Holy Spirit. And I was like, what do you want me to do? Start on your marriage. And I made a video about it. That is what you are supposed to be doing. Now many of you got so confused because it was basically me parting the waters, leading you out of Egypt. You turned around and started making your way back to Egypt. And I wanted it to be a lasting impression on you. So what I did, and I just finished it up, surgery. Yes, this is the mask that says Jesus saves. I don't need to show you that, but I will because people don't believe me when I say things. Step by step, with the spirit, and this is how we do things. I don't lie. So, I came to save you, <clears throat> but many fell away. And I can understand how you're feeling because you're so close to home. You can see home, but the path you're on is close to home. It's not home. So what I did is I operated on people's hearts. I found the things that were preventing you Thriving and living life to the full. And it started with not trusting Jesus. Many of you did not take the narrow path. And the scripture says, narrow is the path that leads to light. Wide is the path that leads to destruction. This is basic elementary Christianity. The scripture is the scripture. Many of you expected me to forget all about scripture. And you did not know enough to recognize me or how much scripture there is. There is scripture that says I wore you like a garment. You did not see me, but I saw you. And when I was um, taking my walk, like I have for a very, very long time, because I love walking with the Holy Spirit, it's not always gumdrops and rainbows, but I remain me. And this is how I lead you, walking with you. So my messages can speak directly into your situation because I know exactly what is happening. I can feel my spirit trying to fight its way out of this city. There are many cities my spirit is not going to be at this particular moment. This will prevent you unless you have the Holy Spirit and 
you are building it up by your obedience, connected to the vine. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And it's sad it had to be that way. But there's only so much suffering God can watch. And the biggest thing is people had so much pride. And that does come before the fall. That is scripture. The hugest thing. If your spouse had a very strong relationship with me, I directed them. The scripture says, a man can plan his way in his heart, but the Lord directs his footsteps. If they followed me, and they were disciplined enough to do it, it meant they would follow me for a while, because I had said a long time ago, you are going to be the saviors. This is going to give you your vindication. This is going to give you the admiration that you seek from your spouse. And if you followed my plan perfectly, I'm telling everybody now, take a step back. Remain on my course. Because what has happened, if you continue, they are already mad at the messenger. So now, if you did what I told you to do, rest assured, you prayed for your spouse, it's done. If you did what I told you to do, there is so much confirmation and so many seeds planted in their heart. I am going to let it rain on them. You would know if you were a true follower of Jesus by the fruits of the Spirit, the confirmation you received, and it's not an artificial peace. I know that a lot of you are scared. I will keep you in perfect peace. Because this is how I'm opening up people's eyes. I told you to love them through it. And you have. I've already done the operation on their heart. I removed the rebellious parts of them. Okay? It is going to come down in a pleasant and amazing way. So that's the first thing you have to realize how lost you are. When you realize you're lost, then your eyes are open. There is nothing better than Jesus. That is what a lot of this was about. Also, there is no way to the Father except through me. You cannot get to God without consistently following the Holy Spirit. I am the one that leads you I am not concerned with what your preachers are telling you. I am not concerned with what your church is doing. On that day, and it came, you faced me. And I 
I told everyone, I never go backwards. Fast. And decided it had to be that way. God tested us. Because I'm raising up people that love Jesus. Right now. So that they can be my church. And any other entity on earth can look at us. And we will love you with compassion. You will be understanding. So when your spouse has taken the steps to confirm and understand what God was doing in their life, because when I open their eyes, they're going to see everything that you did was because you loved them. And it's going to be so undeniable, they will have nowhere to go. I've already been working on their hearts. And if you know me at all, it would be difficult for them to find peace. Because I do not let people live a lie. That is not going to change your life. And too many people have relied on teachers that were not speaking under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit because there is one Holy Spirit and I know my prophets. I know exactly who is in the Spirit. I cannot be fooled, I cannot be mocked, and I will uphold the Scripture. But I will also show mercy and compassion. I love you.